Hey guys, today I come to you with another time lapse or art video. Um, I got inspired by a song one night, and I was smart enough to to uh, uh, record this this uh, drawing process, but. It was so late when I started. It was like midnight or after. It was maybe 1 a.m. So I didn't get to finish this because I had to go to sleep. And so the next day when I continued, <laughs> I forgot to continue rec recording. So you don't, you don't get to see the complete. Uh, process of this image. I'm I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm I suck at remembering things. <sighs> but I still got quite a lot of good fu footage, I think. So I guess this video will be alright, and it's still like eight minutes long. So. I, I think this this will be a good video nevertheless <laughs> um, so yeah this this piece was inspired by a song sung from from a mysterious artist called Foxy and they have this Finnish um, singer called Venior featuring on the song and the song is called snow so this this will also be very snowy image um, I got got this nice romantic feeling from the song <laughs> image an image from of um, a quiet snowfall maybe a little bit of wind and yeah <laughs> so if you are not familiar with these characters yet they are from my webcomic webcomic called transfusions um the one wearing leather jackets is called Yoa he's a vampire from the 80s <laughs> and and the guy with class glasses is his boyfriend Dulan who is um, um he's a media student and a huge nerd and yeah their love story is very interesting if you if you are not familiar with it yet I, I recommend checking it out <coughs> Okay, so um, for the line art, I use, used um, Kyle T. Webster, I guess his name is, if I remember correctly. As I mentioned before, my, my memory. Mm. But I think it's Kyle T. Webster. He makes awesome brushes for Photoshop, and I have purchased a few brush sets from him so the line art I did with Kyle's ultimate 2B pencil brush I think yeah and um, the coloring I did with Kyle ultimate oil flat wonky brush it's a really nice brush uh, it does smooth smooth um uh, I don't know it looks smooth when you when the brush is small but when you uh, use use it bigger it it makes a nice texture as you will as you will see later I use the same brush pretty much 
with, with everything on this piece except for the background I use some kind of watercolor brush I can't remember which one <laughs> there are many Some kind of messy background to to help me um, with uh, lighting, lighting and shading. There are some kind of street lights, maybe they're bringing some lights. And now the snow. I made some random snowflakes and then duplicated the layer and put some motion blur there so you get maybe some kind of feeling of the snowfall motion <laughs> I don't know <laughs> something um, mm, this was very experimental piece I I haven't done um, that many pictures with this kind of technique, I guess. And only recently I have started to use these um, <coughs> color palettes to help me with colors. I, I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad at coloring. Um, so as you can see on the top um, top of the image uh, there's a this small color strip that I used to help me with this. Oh, we're almost at the end of the recording. <laughs> I added the, the final piece to, to the end of the video so you can see what it ended up lo looking like and I can also link it link um, to my tumblr where you can find it as well I hope you enjoyed this video um, let me know what inspires you does music inspire you because it does inspire me a lot if if I find one song that that just hits me i i just listen to it on repeat for hours <laughs> like what happened with this one so anyway thanks for watching and subscribe and like and comment and i'll see you next time bye bye